Hey y'all, it's April the 15th, 2018, and y'all, I'm back, but I'm going to explain why that is in a second. Before I do, before I explain why it is that I'm back and that you're seeing my face right now talking uh, let me just say two things number one is I appreciate you and I need you to know that number two before we get started is a verse from out of the Bible I believe it's Psalm Psalm 46 10 and that verse reads something like be still and know that I am God. We're talking about the one and only God that the earth has ever known. His son's name is Jesus, and you might want to debate me on this. Feel free, but we're actually going to talk about that as well later on in this video. The key note is the verse in which that I'm saying right now. Be still and know that I am God. You might hear this or read this and think any number of things. I don't know what you're thinking. There's no way that I could know. But if I were to suggest to you what that means is that in certain situations, some of the most dire situations that you'll ever see in your life, the best Thing to do is to in fact be still is to jump to no conclusion it is to not have an opinion about what's taking place and at the same time to know that there is only one God and sure most people don't believe in this God they never will. But to know in your heart that that's the only thing that you know. His son is named Jesus or Yeshua or whatever. And you know who I'm talking about. And to know that his plan, his plan, God's plan. And I'm not talking about a Drake song necessarily. God's plan will come to fruition irregardless. It does not matter. Your situation doesn't matter. My situation doesn't matter. Right? We will come and we will go. God's plan will take place irregardless, and that's just what it is. The majority of the people on earth, they will never come to accept God that might sound unfortunate I mean I think it sounds unfortunate but you know what that's the way that it is I have no choice but to accept that what I'm here to suggest to y'all today is that the majority of people will not ever accept God uh, and the biggest, hardest hurdle that they'll never be able to jump over is that psalm that I just shared with you. They will be absolutely incapable of being still and knowing for certain that God's plan will take place irregardless. They won't ever be able to accept that. That's, in fact, the hardest thing in the world that you could ever think to do. If you can do that successfully, know that you're doing the hardest thing that is 
even attemptable on earth to be still and to know for certain of only one thing who God is and that his plan will prevail irregardless be certain of it all right that all established I want to talk to you about a topic that you probably understand is making the internet explode at this current time and it has been since Friday night and that's what's taking place in Syria now if you're like myself you've probably heard a, a great number of people speaking on the topic lending what they might feel is their opinion of what could be happening in regards to Syria for every person on earth who does not believe in God has no faith in God I'm absolutely in no way speaking to them right now might as well just cut off the video do not care what they're thinking All right this is not for them but I want to talk to y'all about that situation because I've also been seeing a number of people speaking on the situation and doing what's called speculating. I can't help but do the same. I speculate. It's just what happens. You can't help but speculate. Well, if you've seen the amount of people that I've seen speculating in regards to what's taking place in Syria then you'll have seen a lot of people say a lot of different things. You won't know which to believe. I'm here to tell you today right now to suggest for your consideration that not one single person that you've heard knows what's taking place in Syria or knows for that matter what is taking place in Donald Trump's head not one person on earth aside from Donald Trump himself I'm here to suggest that to you his wife Melania does not know for sure. Nobody does. His children don't know. His best buddies do not know. Everybody out there who I appreciate, who I listen to on purpose to hear their speculation, they do not know. And I certainly don't know. If you're watching this video, I guarantee you, you don't know what's going on in Donald Trump's head. What exactly he's thinking about. All right. uh, before I go ahead and lend you my speculation in which that's all it is. I don't know. Before I do that, I simply want to remind you real briefly that the best thing and the hardest thing that is possible right now is to be still and to know that God is God and God will have his way irregardless all right so like I said, for those who do not believe in God or perhaps believe in some other God, I'm not speaking to them right now. For those who do believe in God, that is what I would suggest for you to be still. But let's think about this real quick. All right, I want to just tell you what you already have seen. You've already seen evidence of is that... <sighs> 
We seem to be involving ourselves more so now than ever before in what is taking place in Syria. The great majority of people who actually are Christians, they know full well that we don't belong in Syria. As a nation, we have no business there. It's taking place in the Middle East. Uh, it's the business of the Middle East, all right? Just to be very simple about it. That being said, irregardless, that does not seem to be the case. There's a lot of people out there who ain't Christian, who are something else, who are believing in something else. Maybe they're believing in their own selfish uh, righteousness. I meant to say self-righteousness, but that's what it is. And they think, oh, we got to save these poor people. we got to save these poor people by bombing them and all sort of, who knows what they, I don't know what Hillary Clinton is uh, saying right now. I don't know. But I assume it's something like that. we got to save all these people by bombing them. <laughs> that's what we got to do. Obviously, that's not necessary. We have no business there. That is established. All right, you might also know that the military strikes that have taken place in regards to what our military forces have done along with the UK and France and who knows who else, Israel. Our military strikes have been absolutely, completely illegal. All right? And from what I understand, against international law as well. Those happen to be facts, you know. If indeed there are missiles going off in Syria, and I'm willing to bet you there are missiles going off in Syria, all right? It does seem very much like that is the case. From there, that is what we know. From there, we don't hardly know anything else. And like I said, there's not one person on earth who knows what is going through the mind of Donald Trump. It's a lot of people speculating. One such speculation could be like, oh, Donald Trump's turned on us. He's done exactly what he said that he wouldn't do in regards to Syria. And perhaps he was going to do it the whole time. Perhaps he's been pressured into this somehow. And he's rolling over. Certainly. If you'd talk to or listen to such folks as QAnon and other followers of, of QAnon, what they'll basically tell you is what they think is going on is that this is a 4D chess move done by Donald Trump in which he's actually playing off the deep state right now and if you're christian you absolutely know what the deep state is i won't bother in describing it to you and so much as saying much more than it is people who want a global government they want absolute total power over the earth and in doing so they must have us always going to war with each other and a world war three would make their day wouldn't it all right, there's some people who are speculating, well, Donald Trump, what he's doing is, right now is a rope-a-dope maneuver in which he's going to have the deep state thinking that they got him in, in their sights and stuff and they got his number. Meanwhile, he's only playing them right now. All right, he's only making it look like he wants to intervene on Syria. Meanwhile, he's rope-a-doping uh, the hell out them right now and they're falling for it and they can't help but fall for it because there's nothing they can do about it it ain't nothing they can do but they can't speak out against it if Donald Trump was doing a 4D chess move on them right now it isn't nothing that they could do to stop it <laughs> and that's funny because they can't speak out against the Syrian attacks they want attacks on Syria. They want World War III irregardless. This deep state, all they want is death and destruction because it gives them more power over us. 
gives them carte blanche to do whatever it is that they feel like doing. And what they feel like doing is total, complete, utter slavery over the whole entire world. And they don't want nobody kicking up dust. Donald Trump is putting a thorn in their eye. That's another bit of speculation, like I said. Don't nobody know. And that's the thing about it. We could all get worked up. And certainly, over this weekend, I have gotten worked up. Certainly. I've been watching a lot of people getting pretty well worked up about it. However, just today, earlier today, I was... Um, I was in mass, if you will. I was at church, if you if you must, on the internet, and that would be Jesse Lee Peterson's uh, church that he holds on Sunday, which I would recommend to anybody on earth if you want to fix your life up. All right, he holds church every Sunday, and he does different other programs and stuff. He was speaking a little bit about this situation bringing it up now certainly most people's churches their so-called churches ain't gonna dare bring this up they're gonna pretend it ain't happening <laughs> Jesse Lee Peterson was uh, discussing a lot of things right that are very crucial in knowing but one such thing was this about the situation, Donald Trump, Syria, what's going on? What about Russia? People are saying a lot of things. Should we be terrified out of our minds? To paraphrase, the point that Jesse Lee Peterson was making is we have all sort of proof that Donald Trump has been helping us out as Americans over his term. It's been a year, a year and a half. We do have proof of that. All right. We don't have proof of anything else when in regards to Syria. We don't have proof that Donald Trump is turning against us. We don't have proof that Donald Trump is rope doping anybody right now. This is something that we cannot know unless we actually literally live inside the head of Donald Trump and we do not. And so his suggestion would be to be still and know that God is God and God will have his way irregardless. Instead of jumping to conclusions, no matter what conclusion you want to jump to, know and understand for all your wisdom and all your intel and all everything. You know, there's people out there who's got so much more intel and expertise on what's going down in Syria and what's been going down in Syria way more than myself. I'm talking about mountains and mountains of expertise that I just don't have. For all their wisdom which I appreciate and I listen to and I consider, it means nothing. Unfortunately, it means nothing unless they know what is happening in Donald Trump's head. And trust me when I tell you, Putin does not know for certain. Assad does not know for certain, there is not one other person on earth who knows, aside from Donald Trump. What I'm here to suggest for everybody is to not get worked up about it. All right. At the same time, a lot of people would say, oh, good, I get to go back to my little video games or whatever it is. I, it doesn't even matter what it is. W whatever makes you happy. There's a lot of things that make me happy and keep me entertained throughout the day. Me personally, if I were to suggest to you something, all right, and it is just a suggestion for you to consider, is do not turn your eyes away from this. Not all the way. You need to be watching this. This absolutely is affecting the earth in the most crucial of ways. But at the same time, you, you're not capable of coming to a conclusion. Alex Jones is not 
capable of coming to a conclusion. And I'm going to actually speak on that a little bit towards the end, all right? Because there's major controversy going on on that front right now. And a lot of y'all might understand and know who Alex Jones is. All right? But I'm here to tell you, doesn't nobody know? You can get all worked up as much as you want. You're not going to figure anything out. Not before it's time. You don't know. The best thing that you could do, the most difficult thing that you could do on earth is to be still and know who God is. And know that he will prevail irregardless. Know that there is not anything to worry about in regards to that. But at the same time, what I would suggest is to keep your eyes on this, keep your ears to this, because it is the most crucial thing that's happening on Earth right now. Okay. In time, and I'm not talking very long from now, it's kind of why I made this video today and I felt like I couldn't wait. In time, the evidence will come to light. We won't help but know, all right? Here's the thing. If we're drifting closer to World War III, before long, we will know it. There will be ways of knowing it. If Donald Trump happens to be rope-a-doping and making a damn fool out of the deep state right now, before long, we will know it. There will be ways of knowing all right, I'm going to give you an example. The president, a lot of people don't always see how it affects them in their day-to-day -day life. And many times it doesn't. All right, I want to take you back just a little bit, real briefly. If you were to think about President Obama, love him or hate him, I don't care. If you were to think back to that whole Obamacare mandate thing that he had going, that literally affected people. It certainly did. All right. And that certain people who I know personally, they suffered fines for, for what? For basically not being able to afford health care. Not the kind that he was talking about. So guess what? They got fined. They literally lost money, money that they could tabulate. They knew it. It was a real thing. It really affected them. It really did. All right? It's hard to argue that. However, in this situation right now, which is definitely much more crucial, you cannot say that you have felt the effects of Donald Trump getting us into war as of today sunday april 15th you cannot say that and that is what we need to be watching out for certainly in all these military operations that have been going on since before i'm born before you were born certainly people have been dying all right it isn't a game necessarily all right people really do die and when you're talking about Syria, there's been a lot of casualties. There's been so many people dying. It is a civil war. Go ahead and try to debate me on that. It's a civil war. It's been going on for, I don't know, about six years or so. It's been real bad. All right. The main bit of evidence that, that is going to point us in either one direction or another, or maybe perhaps a third direction with, that we're not even aware of, what we need to be looking out for is this. We need to be seeing weapons being dropped here on America. Or perhaps weapons being dropped on Russia. What we're going to need to see, irregardless, is people, either Americans or Russians, getting killed military casualties an influx we're going to see the numbers absolutely become 
very great. If we are drifting into World War III, if Donald Trump has sold us out, we will know because the body count of Americans will increase drastically from here on out. The body count of Russians will increase drastically from here on out. Uh, one little silver lining of hope right now that I can give to you right now is that we have not seen that yet. Might give you pause to think to yourself for one second. Um, Russia said it was going to retaliate if we did some some stuff over in Syria, if we, if we crossed the line. Technically, we did cross the line. We haven't seen anything happen. Why is that? Why is that? Is, is it because Russia, I don't know, is it because they're cowards? Probably not. Probably not. Is it because they're just waiting it out to, to make their, their move? They're, they're trying to time it in a certain way that they devastate us? That they that they devastate America and and they're really just trying to um, bide their time right now. Is that what's happening? I don't know. I don't know. Is it that secretly Putin and, and certain Russian leadership absolutely know what Donald Trump's doing? They're actually in a a bit of an agreement in order to rope a dope the deep state and make damned stupid fools out of them. I don't know, but it's it's all possible. It's all very possible, and Assad could be in on it as well. It's all very possible, but we don't know. We don't know. All right, we don't even know that people were chemically attacked over there in Syria. We don't have no evidence. <laughs> of course not, and we're not being given evidence anywhere, like all over the place in all sort of different scenarios. No, no we're not being given evidence. All right, and understand that. Take that to heart. All right, uh, with all these different scenarios, whether you're talking about the Parkland shooting, whether you're talking about other shootings, whether you're talking about what's going on in Syria, know this: you're not being given evidence. What what point is it in believing anything that any of these people have to say? They ain't giving you no damn evidence. They want to they want to have you believe all oh, these people got chem chemically attacked, and they're trying to wash it off with water. <laughs> You had to be a stoop. You had to be born yesterday. You really do. In order to believe that that's actually a thing that took place. Alright? I mean, to think that these people are so dumb that they're going to wash off certain chemical weapons off of them with water, like, that's going to make any damn difference. Uh, I mean, it's insulting to anyone's intelligence. That's another little silver lining of hope. Of course Donald Trump ain't going to fall for that. He has to be a born yesterday to fall for that. Huh. So you start to think, oh, well, I mean, of course Donald Trump's not going to fall for that. He'd have to be born yesterday. None of this makes sense. Oh, really, it doesn't make sense, huh? Hmm. That's interesting. Like I said, I don't know. You don't know. Donald Trump's wife doesn't know. Putin doesn't know. Assad doesn't know. There isn't a person on earth, aside from Donald Trump himself, that knows exactly what Donald Trump is doing. I've heard it say that as far as Christianity goes, and I heard this just today while uh, people were speculating, and I respect everybody who's speculating, but I've heard it say that, you know, it's a sin to bear false witness. It's a sin to bear false witness. And if Donald Trump is trying to rope it up the deep state right now, well, then that's exactly what he's doing. He's bearing false witness right now. Although I cannot argue with that particular point, at the same time, the Bible is not talking to you about Donald Trump. It's not talking to me about Donald Trump. Um... What most people don't like about the Bible is that it's talking to you about you. It's telling you to not bear false witness. It's not telling you what Donald Trump should do or shouldn't do. Right? You'll never be in the shoes of Donald Trump, neither will I. 
I can't tell you what he should or shouldn't do in this certain situation. I can't tell you what it is he's thinking or not thinking. I can tell you the hardest thing to do on earth is to be still and wait for that evidence because it will come to light. Just like all these different situations in which we're being given no evidence by people with damn smiles on their face talking about, oh, no, it's a secret. Oh, yeah, it might be a secret right now, but it's going to come out to light irregardless. And I do want to leave you on the on the note of Alex Jones and, Don, and Donald Trump and what's been taking place over the weekend. I'm going to assume that you already know and that Alex Jones is pretty much almost halfway bashing Donald Trump right now. Basically, he's off the Trump train, F Trump and this and that. If, you, if you're aware, you probably are aware if you know who Alex Jones is. I want to point out to you one thing before we get out of here. Y'all, and I'm only saying this because I'm not very popular. That is yet another silver lining of hope right there. That right there seems to be another rope-a-dope maneuver. That right there, what it looks like to me, is Alex Jones, he's also rope-a-doping the deep state. He's he's causing the deep state to think that, oh man, he's lost faith in Trump. He's turning on Trump. Dude, Alex Jones has been one of the foremost people in having faith in Donald Trump. Alex Jones has been having faith in Donald Trump like nobody's business in comparison to anybody. All right? What it looks like to me, and I don't know, is that Alex Jones is also in on this little rope-a-dope game. He's making himself look flustered right now so that the deep state operatives who know who they are they might think oh well our plan is working oh man maybe we're really getting to trump maybe his whole base is getting flustered and if we're gonna have world war three and we're gonna have total power over everybody and that's and it's all coming to plan i don't think it is no i don't think it is i think y'all are being bamboozled of course that's just what i think i don't know but the evidence is looking real good on my side. The evidence is looking real good on uh, the side of people who believe in God. And there's only one. His son, his name is Jesus. He'll have his way regardless. Do you think you're going to stop it? Nah, you're not going to stop it. You're putting off the inevitable. Everybody out there, I appreciate y'all. I'm going to leave y'all off on this. Like I said, I've been saying, be still and know that he is God. That's the hardest thing that you could possibly do. That's something that the great majority of people on earth will never be capable of doing. And also, I, I am back. You, you might have noticed over the past 30 minutes I'm back due to uh, popular demand. And I appreciate all y'all out there. However, this channel is going to be ran a certain kind of different way in which we're going to discuss on the next video a certain kind of different way. It is a new time that we're living in. We're still balls deep up in the tribulation. And I'm going to have to holler at y'all a little bit later.